guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing the Intimidating TBR Pile Tag. I'm going to leave the original video down below as well as the questions. But I haven't done a tag video in a while. Um, and the TBR Pile that I have now is ever growing. So I just wanted to sort of give you guys a glimpse into that TBR and see what you guys will be reading in the future as well. Leave a comment down below. Otherwise, let's get started. So I'm going to be reading the questions off my phone. And the first question is, what book have you been unable to finish? And I have two answers for this one. The first one being The Great Gatsby by Fitz Scott, F. 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 Scott Fitzgerald. There we go. Um, and I don't know how, I don't know why I just can't finish this. I'll get sort of three quarters into the book and then I just can't get past it. I have watched the movie, so I do know how the story ends, which is kind of sad. But there's just something about this that just has been sitting on my shelf forever and I just haven't been able to read it. It really looks orange on this. Whoop. And the next one is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. So I have finished Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. But it's taken me a while to get through the um, through through the looking glass. It's one of those things I think it's because the writing is sort of written in a really, I guess, olden day type of style that it's sort of is hard to wrap my head around it. It is a really interesting read because of the adventure that Alice goes through and I really want to read it to compare it to the movie. But I'll put it aside for a while, or I'll put it aside for a bit now just to see if I can get back into it after a break. The next question is, what book have you yet to read because you just haven't had the time? And this one goes to George R. R. Martin's The Storm of Swords Part 1, Steel and Snow. This is the third book in the Game of Thrones series, or the Song of Ice and Fire, I think, a series. Um, and it's a book that I have been meaning to read for the past two years and just haven't gotten to it because I just haven't had the time to plow through, plow through this. I know for the first and second one it did take me a while and I really do want to read this. Hopefully I can now because I've got a lot more time. This really forces you to sit down and actually process it because there is so much just going on, so many characters to remember. So I really do need the time to read it. Third question is what book have you yet to read because it's a sequel and that will probably be the... Um, Darkest Mercy by Melissa Ma. This is actually the final book in the series. I only have the first book and the last book for some reason. So that's a bit funny. Um, I have read book one, two, and three though. I just need to get book four and then I can end up reading, I can actually finish reading book five. And then the next question is, what book have you yet to read because it's brand new? And I really couldn't find a book to suit this question because the books that I've recently bought, I actually have read or am in the middle of reading. So I am actually going to use The Rest of Us Live Just Live Here by Patrick Ness because I bought this, I think, the beginning of this year. I haven't got around to reading it yet. It is very brand new. Um, it is a new release, I think, last year. I don't know. It's one of those books where I'll buy and then I'll just leave it on my shelf and then hopefully get around to it one day. Question number five is, what book have you yet to read because you read a, you read a book by the same author and didn't enjoy it? And this one is sort of an iffy one because I'm choosing Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead, which is the first book in the Bloodlines series. And I really did love Vampire Academy up until the last two books, which made me not want to read this one because of how I felt about the other series. Um, this is a spin-off series following two minor characters in the actual other series. Um, and I just haven't persuaded myself to actually go back into the world and read from those characters because I am not satisfied with how the Vampire Academy series ended and I am probably a minority to that. And then we have the question, what book have you yet to read because you're just not in the mood for it? And this one goes to All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doa, which I know is a absolutely loved book, especially on booktube. But for some reason, I'm just not in the mood to read anything set in World War II at the moment, anything that's sort of German Nazi era, because I do think that's going to be really sad, and I just can't seem to put myself into this world because I don't want to become depressed. Question seven is, what book have you yet to read because it, it's, it is humongous? And this one goes to the lovely Mountain Shadow by, by Gregory... David Roberts, there we go. And this is a monster of a book. It is, I'm pretty sure, almost over a thousand pages long. No, just under a thousand pages. And oh my god, this is huge. <laughs> it, I do love Gregory David Roberts writing though, and I know that I will fly through this as best as I can. Um, but 900 pages means that I have to dedicate a lot of time to it and it is so huge that I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Then I have, what book have you yet to read because 
it was a cover buy and that turned out to have poor reviews. And for this one, I didn't really have one that I wanted to choose from, but I guess I'm going to have to answer with... Um, for Darkness Shows the Stars because I really like the cover in this. I think it's gorgeous. I haven't heard heaps of it and I think on Goodreads there are sort of mixed reviews, not poor reviews. But I only got it because I think the cover is simply stunning um, and I think I might enjoy it. It is a sci-fi novel, well, more of a romance sci-fi novel, but I'm still going to enjoy the cover because I think it is gorgeous. And the last question is, what is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile? And I actually have two for this one. The first one being Le Miserable by Victor Hugo. And the second one being The Pillars... Oh, these are huge books. The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. And both of these ones are adult fiction. This one obviously is a classic that is humongous. And I... Um, with tiny as writing in there. So I don't know how I will go through this entire thing. This one here is... More of, I guess, philosophical adventure. Um, Tiny as writing again. But I'm just scared that I'm not going to be able to get into this. Or if I do, I'm going to be over my way over my head. And it just freaks me out, even though I do want to read these. So, fingers crossed it happens sometime soon. And the last question is, who do you want to tag? And for this one, I don't think I'm going to answer it. Because I'm pretty sure everybody has done this tag video. I'm just late to the game. But if you want to do it, then definitely... Film it and then leave a link down below so I can actually watch it because I do want to see what you guys are planning to read in the future or haven't yet to read because you aren't sure. I think that's all for today. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!